yaweze kufanyiwa kwa utaratibu kila mtu aridhike kama vile ambavyo mheshimiwa rais anatuhimiza ya kuwa ni bottom up wahusishwe wale walio chini uh, by the time uh, process inaisha kila mtu awe ameridhika nataka niwaombe tena wakati wa kazi wa ajira zikitoka sisi si watu wa kuulizwa mara ya pili likoni na kwale tumegawa hapa kwa hivyo sisi pia tuna share ndani ya dongo kundu wakati kazi zinapeanwa kwale county isiekwe nje na uzuri kwale county tumesomesha tunaweka 400 million kila mwaka ya kusomesha mtoto wa kwale kwa hivyo kila taaluma inapatikana nani ya kwale kwa hayo mengi au machache asante sana mheshimiwa rais na karibu sana coast aya Aya hamjambo tena. Asalamu alaikum. Kwa ndugu wa Kristo Mungu yu mwema na kila wakati. Your Excellency Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Your Excellency Deputy President wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ndugu zangu viongozi tofauti walioko hapa na kila mmoja ambaye hii leo bila shaka ni siku ya furaha ila zetu sisi mwana akizaliwa watu hawakai na wakaanza kusutana mila zetu sisi mila zetu sisi tukiwa na wageni watu huficha uchi wao mila mila zetu sisi eskizeni niwaambie Your Excellency hawaongwana wa eneo hili katika eneo la Mombasa hata pale nilipozaliwa mimi eneo la Mvita hili la likoni walijitokeza kwa wingi zaidi na fadhila sitoweza kuisahau ikawa nashika microphone na kuzungumza mengine isipokuwa haja zao na hoja zao Hawa wakati wa kura wengi walisema ya kwa huu jamaa hajui kujibizana hajui hivi na luka ya kutusi kabla sijakuta ni ungano wetu kwa min ajili ya hao walioko hapa mimi nakupa guarantee your excellence katika baadhi ya walionipigia mimi kura kuna baadhi ya wengine hapa ambao kwamba hata wewe pia walikupigia upande wetu kama serikali ya county sisi tuko tayari kushirikiana hata nimesikia tulipokuwa pale kando ya kuwa kando na mambo yote mengine ya kwa tuweze mpango huu na huu mradi uweze kupanuliwa ndugu Rostama kileta makaratasi yake katika county tutayapitisha kwa sababu tunajua yataleta manufaa kwa watu wetu lile ambacho tutaomba na hili litazungumzwa na kila mmoja lakini mimi nataka kuweka uzito zaidi kama gavana wao hatutobadili na hatutobahatisha watu wetu wakose kazi hapa walipo your excellency watu wote wamekuja hapa kila anayetuangalia katika runinga anataka kujua matarajio mema yatakuwa ni yapi watu wanataka kujua 
ya kwa mtu akitoka hapa ana matumaini ya kuataweza kupata ajira kutoka kwa county ya Mombasa ikiwa itaweza kuhakikisha kwa wawekezaji wa ajira ikiwa kampuni nyingine kama Taifa Gas ziweze kupatia mwelekeo mwema ili ziweze kuzidi katika maeneo haya. Mimi natoa shukrani tulikaa na mkutano. Waziri kama sijakosea ilikuwa ni mkutano wa kwanza sisi tulikutana ilikuwa ni Disemba. Na Your Excellency ulinipatia wewe mwenyewe leseni ya kwa Mombasa kando na hii dongo kundu. Leseni ya Mombasa iwe na SZ yake kama kaunti ya Mombasa hii ni ya serikali kuu tutakuwa na nyingine yetu ya kaunti ya Mombasa na ndio ushirikiano haya ndio matumaini watu wanaoyataka ya hali ya ugatuzi katika hii Kenya Your Excellency kama kaunti ya Mombasa tukishirikiana na wajumbe wetu tuna database nzima ma engineer wetu ma architect wetu wale ambao kwamba yeah. na tutakupatia bwana rusta na watu wako tukwambia haa ndio watu wetu tunatarajia ajira ili waweze kulisha familia zao conversation ya pili your excellence na hili nisipolitaja nitakuwa nimewadhulumu hawa watu kwanza tunashukuru kazi za bandari zimeregea ni jambo nilipigana nia na baadhi ya wenzangu tangu nilipokuwa mbunge nimeweza kuangalia hesabu kupitia Central Bank of Kenya nimeweza kuangalia hesabu kupitia na kifua na nahakikisha ya kuwa mashirika na makampuni yenye kufanya zile kazi za clearing zinaanza hapa lakini kuna hili swali la pato kutoka bandari ya Mombasa Mombasa inastahiki kupata Nisipoyazungumza haya your excellency nitakuwa nimewadhulumu hawa walioko hapa Mimi nataka kukupatia shukrani Na tena natoa shukrani tena na tena Ulitoa mwelekeo ukaniambia gavana mimi nakubaliana na wewe Mombasa inastahili Tunaheshimu maoni ya katibu wako katika wizara ya transport ya kuwa kaunti ya Mombasa ilikuwa haistahiki lakini wakati naheshimu maoni yake ni lazima niweze kuheshimu na maoni ya wana Mombasa ya kwa kama njia si hii njia itakuwa nyingine na mimi natoa shukrani ya kwa ushaweza kutoa mwelekeo tumezungumza na wizara na atoni general al muhim watu waweze kufaa na chao hawa hawa watu waweze kupata kile wanachokistahiki kizazi kinachokuja baada ya leo waweze kukuhukumu wewe William Samoei Ruto na Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir ndio ambao waloweza kuyaweka matakwa yao mbele hawa watu Hii conversation your excellency tumeipitisha kwa attorney general kwa waziri wako kwa economic advisors wako na mimi nina imani ya kwa hizi siku mbili uko hapa tuweze kuyamaliza haya mazungumzo ili hii bandari hapa nimemsikia ndugu yangu moha nimemsikia dadangu mishi wakizungumza ya kwa ni kweli tuna matatizo ya madawa ya kulevya kama serikali ya county Tayari tumejenga rehabilitation center mbili. Tena eneo hili hili la likoni. Moja iwe ni akina mama, moja iwe ni wavulana. Lazima tuwanasue vijana wetu kutoka haya majanga ya madawa ya kulevya. Lakini kuendesha yote haya yanahitaji fedha. 
hatuwezi kuwa ni serikali ya omba omba saa zote nije kugota mlangoni mwako bwana rais tunataka hiki bwana rais tunataka hiki ama tuwe ni serikali ya omba omba saa zote tunaenda kufuata makampuni badala ya kuomba mambo ya maana nije kuanza kum fata taifa gas lipa biliata ya rehabilitation center we have to be self reliant as a county na mtu ujifana chake kwa hivyo bwana rais mimi ni kutoa shukrani kutoa shukrani za that nimefanya kazi na takriban wizara zako zote ndugu yangu hapa nilikana ye na muda si mchache nimeona na wakurugenzi wa SZ Mombasa county ya Mombasa tuna license yetu sisi wenyewe na hata kesho kutwa tunangoja PPP node na sisi pia tuweze kuweka wahifadhi kama wewe nimefanya kazi na ndugu yangu Salim Mvuria hata tukitoka hapa leo tunaenda kupeana cheki kwa vikundi ambavyo vitaweza kufaidi kwa ule mpango wetu wa Kemsfield Nimeweza kufanya kazi na waziri wako wa energy ambao tunazungumza njia EPRA inaweza kufanya kazi na kaunti ya Mombasa kwa min ajili ya kuweza kuendelesha kaunti yetu ya Mombasa. Nimefanya kazi na wizara zako tofauti na watu wako wote. Na hata hivi tunavozungumza your excellence katika kauli ya mwisho. Hii dongo kundu kutakuwa na ardhi hapa ambayo kaunti ya Mombasa ili tuweze kupatia kazi na tuweze kupatia zile services hawa ungwana wote ambao wataweza kuleta application zao na kazi zao hapa katika hiyo ardhi tutaweka fire station tuweke health center tuweke kila kitu na mimi nataka kutoa kauli pia your excellence tayari kama kaunti ya Mombasa Tumesha kubaliana na tunangojea PPP wa kubali tuweke sahihi mpango wa maji ambao hii dongo kundu na industrial park ile nyingine utakuwa hakuna tena story ya shida ya maji maji yatatoka wapi kwa hivyo rosta usitafute mambo ya, ku, ya maji chimba kisima cha leo na kesho lakini mambo maji ya kuendeleza serikali ya county tayari ishayaweka mipangilio hayo asanteni sana jameni na mubarikiwa asanteni Asante ndugu yangu eh, mheshimiwa gavana sasa nikupaye nafasi moja mnaraji wa mwisho kwa sababu waswahili walisema mcheza kwao hutunzwa kwa niaba wa mawaziri wengine mheshimiwa Salim Mvulia ndio pia tujulishe mawaziri ambao wameadamana na mheshimiwa rais Mheshimiwa Rais Daktari William Samoe Ruto eh, pamoja na naibu rais Mheshimiwa Rigadhi Gashagwa wastahiki Governor wa Mombasa wastahiki Governor wa Kwale Mheshimiwa Fatma Achani viongozi waheshimiwa wa wote wageni waalikwa salamu aleikum bwana sifiu kutwe kabla sijasema maneno mawili matatu ningetaka kujulisha waziri wa mambo ya energy e, waziri chirchir tuko pia na waziri wa elimu ambaye amekuwa hapa kutoka juzi mheshimiwa machogu and of course tuna waziri muhusika na shuli ya leo Mheshimiwa Rais mimi yangu nataka kushukuru sana kwa sababu katika nchi yetu umeweza kuweka kitu kimoja muhimu Siasa nyingi ambazo watu wamefanya wanaweka manifesto na wanapochaguliwa hawafatii ile manifesto Lakini Mheshimiwa Rais yale yote ambayo uliandika pale kwa Kenya Kwanza unayatekeleza kikamilifu
na ili kuhakikishia hata hii ya leo tumeangalia na waziri mwenzangu iko bulleti ya tatu katika manifesto yetu mambo ya energy kwa hivyo tuna imani na sisi tukiwa tunakusaidia kutekeleza tutatekeleza hii mipango ya kiuchumi kuwasaidia wananchi wetu lakini tunapotekeleza kuna wale ambao pengine kwa njia moja ama nyingine ya wafurahi ama wanaoma na mabadilia siasa yao ndio haya mambo unayaona kila asubuhi kila siku lakini mheshimiwa rais ukumbuke kuna kitu inaitwa track record wewe una track record ya utekelezaji wenzako wengine wana track record ya yale ambayo wanayasema na vitisho kwa hivyo jambo muhimu ni sisi kuungana pamoja kumhakikisha rais wetu ile mipango ya kiuchumi ambayo inamlenga mwananchi wa chini tumeitekeleza na kwa hilo mimi naomba kushukuru sana najua hapa kwa special economic zone kampuni zingine zitafungamana na uchumi samawati ambayo pia itakuwa muhimu katika kuinua hali ya maisha ya watu wetu na jambo la mwisho mheshimiwa rais ni ruhusu tu niseme kwamba hapa pwani ni muhimu sasa vile tumeona na tunaendelea mbele tuhakikishe hata siasa yetu tunafanya ya msimamo ndio mahali tukiunga mkono faida pia tunapata mheshimiwa rais asante sana kwa kunipa fursa ya kuweza kuhudumu katika baraza lako la mawaziri na viongozi wengine wengi ambao utawateua katika mpoko huu na Kenya nzima tutashirikiana tutaungana mkono kuibadilisha Kenya na pia tusisahau katika timu hii ina vipawa mbalimbali kuna wanasiasa wako hapo lakini pia sisi tuna vipawa vyetu kwa hivyo utaturuhusu saa nyingine tufanye public participation kwa hii radi ndio watu wengine wakifanya maandamano wananchi wao wanajua utamu na mafanikio ya serikali Mungu awabariki asanteni sana asante Asante uh, waziri mwanzangu Mheshimiwa Rais ningetaka kukuongea tu maneno matatu juu ya huu mradi Kwanza tuko hapa kwa sababu tuko katika safari ya kumaliza umaskini katika nchi yetu. Mradi wa leo ni baadhi ya miradi ambao tumepanga kupanua maneno ya viwanda, kupanua maneno ya biashara na kupanua maneno ya uwekezaji. Na hiyo kazi imeendelea. Ya pili, huu mradi tulikuwa tumeambiwa ya kwamba mwekezaji wa kwanza ataweza kuingia katika mwaka wa 26 2026. Wewe mwenyewe ukaniambia lazima mwekezaji aingie katika mwaka wa 2024. Tarehe 16 mwezi wa kwanza Januari mwaka huu tukakuja pale KPA tukafanya mkutano na Gabana Abu Somad, mashirika yote ya serikali, shirika ya KPA na tukasema ya kwamba lazima tutafute binu zote huu mradi uweze kuanza. Katika mkutano huo tulijiwekea tarehe moja mwezi wa ine. Gavana tulisema tarehe mbili tukasema tarehe moja ni ile April Fools Day na watu wanaweza kuconfuse kidogo. Pengine ni uongo. Tukasema tarehe mbili mwezi wa ine lazima mwekezaji wa kwanza aingie. Leo mwezi wa pili tumeweza kukata hiyo muda kwa siku arobaini. na kwa sababu tulisema sio kila kitu ikiwe sawa kabisa lakini hii maisha ni namna hiyo unasonga hatua moja hii shehena ya hii mradi tutaendelea kuiunda kama iko kwa bahari hatutagojea mpaka ikiwe sawa kabisa kwa hivyo tuko na furaha leo kwa sababu hii mradi ya taifa gas imeanza leo na ile mipango ingine yote ambayo inaendelea tukianza na maneno ya barabara 
ambao limeambiwa ya kwamba hiyo barabara ya Rami itakamilika kupitia kwa, eh, kufikia mwezi ya tatu mwezi ujao. Tuko na hii bridge hii daraja ambao inaenda huko katika airport na upande wa SGR. Disemba mwaka huu hii bridge itakamilika na tutaweza kutumia. Lakini hata kabla sija hazijakamilika badari yetu upande wa Kilindini bado iko. Hakuna pahali imeenda. Feri yetu ya Likoni hakuna pahali imeenda. Wale wawekezaji ambao watakuja bado wako na nafasi ya kuendelea na kazi yake. Nimshukuru pia uh, watu wa National Rights Commission. Natia wao bwana Otati yako hapa. Kwa sababu hii shida ya malipo ilikuwa kubwa sana. Na juzi si, eh, siku ya Jumatano nilikuja hapa tukafanya eh, mkutano na wana inchi, tukatatua mashida yote. Na nikasema mimi mpaka ya mwisho Mheshimiwa Rais Nirudia tena. Nilipokuja hapa tulikubaliana ya kwamba hata kama mzee ako na watoto watano. Hata kama ako na bibi Najua kidogo na matatizo nikaenda nika nikamconsult nika ndugu yangu Oscar Sudi ambaye ako na mabibi wengi. Akanambia sio hatia hati ya kuwa na mabibi wengi. Kwa hivyo tumesema kila mzee abaye Watoto wake hawaja waandikishwa. Hao watoto ni tulikisema waandikishwe mara moja na hakuna hata mtu mmoja katika hii mradi ambaye ataachwa nyuma. Na nimesema nimesema mimi mwenyewe nitakuja baada ya kila wiki mbili nitakuja na, na nitakuwa nakuja katika hii mradi kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye ameachwa nyuma katika hii mradi. Na katika hiyo maneno pia ni seme mheshimiwa Matuga, mheshimiwa Tandaza Hakuna mtu wa likoni na mtu wa matuga. Kila mtu ambaye shamba yake itachukuliwa lazima apatiwe shamba mbadala. Kwa hivyo hiyo kazi yote tutafanya. Mwisho nikikamilisha. Mheshimiwa Rais. Nishukuru yangu Rostam na watu wa Tanzania. Mwezi huu unituma Tanzania nikiwa na ujumbe wako maalum kwa dadako Rais Samia Suluhu Hassan. Na kuna mambo tuliongea mambo ya maana. Na tukasema ya kwamba ile enzi ya kutoaminiana, ile enzi ya kuongozwa na shauku huko enzi la tumalize. Na akanituma kwa kwako. Akasema kama uko na shida ya kufikiria wa Tanzania waamini wa Kenya, akaniambia yeye yako na suluhu. Nataka kuambia ya kwamba Kenya na Tanzania tumefungua ukurasa mpya mwezi ujao tuna a, a, rais ruhu anatuma mawaziri wake wakae ka, a, chini na sisi kuangalia mambo ya infrastructure kuangalia mambo ya kawi na kuangalia mambo ya biashara pia bwana Rosam nikutume pia kwa Tanzania wamelia sana kwa Tanzania Revenue Authority iko na ofisi hapa Mombasa ya kuangalia bidhaa zikienda huko. Pia nimeambiwa na watu wa Kenya Revenue Authority ikifikia mwisho wa mwezi wa tatu, Kenya Revenue Authority pia inafungua ofisi pale Dar es Salaam ndio mizigo iweze kukaguliwa kutoka hapo. Marais mwezi wa kumi na moja walituambia hatutaki kuwa na ile one border post. Inahitaji kuwa ni zero border post na hiyo kazi tunafanya. Kwa hivyo niwahakishie watu wote hapa Dongo Kundu. Tumetaja mambo ya kazi. Na mimi kama waziri na ile kazi rais amenipea, nitahakikisha kwamba hawa wawekezaji wote kazi ya kwanza itapewa watu wa hapa katika eneo la Dongo Kundu. Na nitoe Iran pia. Kuna watu wengine kutoka nje ya hapa wamekuja wamekuwa sasa ndio wataalamu wa hapa kuna jamaa mwingine ajita eh hey, ndio chama ni wavuvi na mimi na mjua jamani wa pale kwetu Muranga na hapo kwao ile maji wako nayo mingi ni maji ya karai lakini najifanya sasa eh hey, ndio chama ni wavuvi 
Mimi nawaambia wakome hii maneno ya ndogo kundu itasuluhishwa ita na watu wa Kwale County na watu wa Mombasa County tukishirikiana na serikali. Watu wa kuleta porojo hapa hatutakubali. Na hiyo ni jambo mimi na gavana na mheshimiwa Misi Mboko tumekubaliana. Hatutakubali porojo yote kutoka nje. Kwa hivyo mwekezaji Rostam kazi tupatie watu ya hapa. Na tuanze kuaminiana. Unajua niliambia Rais Suluhu kuna wakati ambapo watanzania hata hawaku wanaita wa Kenya wa Kenya. Walikuwa wanaita watu wa nchi jirani fulani. Hata tukiwa shida mpira taifa stars kishindwa na Harambe stars walikuwa wanasema eh hey, ndio nchi jirani fulani wametushinda lakini Ebu hesabu vile chenga wamekula. So tunataka mwanzo mpya, tunataka ushirikiano mpya na nakutuma na ujumbe mwambie rais wa Kenya na serikali ya Kenya tunataka kufungua ushirikiano na uhusiano mpya wa kuaminiana kama na madugu na madada. Kwa hiyo machache nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha mkubwa wangu Liji mwenye naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya diweze kutugumzia. Karibu mheshimiwa naibu wa rais. Mbaye ni rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Ruto Mwekezaji Mwana Aziz Mwaziri waliokuweko na magavana Wakaaji wapa Mombasa na Kwale Salama laikum Mungu ni mwema Asante ni sana Rais wetu tunaendelea kukupongeza kwa mipango ya maendeleo hasa ya kutafutia wa Kenya heshima. Huu mradi wa taifa gas ni hatua kubwa sana ya kupatia mwananchi heshima. Tumeambiwa ya kwamba wa pwani zaidi ya asilimia sabini wata, wanatumia kuni kupikia chakula iko na na hiyo hiyo iko moshi iko matatizo mengi ya kiafya na kiheshima kwa hivyo huu mradi ni wa excellency ukikamilika na miradi zingine tupate kila boma katika hapa pwani na nchi ya Kenya kila mama ako na mtugi wake wa gasi ya kupikia tutaregeza heshima ya watu wetu na wataweza kuishi na heshima rais mpango mingi ambaye unaendeleza ni ya kutafutia wa Kenya heshima na ni ile bottom up economic model ya kunua wale wako chini wakuje hapa juu wakae na wakenya wengine kwa hivyo tunakupongeza ikuwe kwa hii mpango wa Tanzania tu wakuwe wawili peke yake wewe kama mwenye kampuni na chief accountant ya kuleta pesa ya kulipa hii watu hii watu wengine wote wakuwe watu ya hapa mungetaka ikuwe namna hiyo eh hey. Ile mwenye kubeba pesa huyo akuje hata kama ni wawili kwa sababu pesa natakana mingi wewe na watu wawili mnataka akuje na mmoja ama wawili bas wawili Chiva counter na deputy yake na hawa watu hata kama wewe ni mweupe hawa ni watu ya hapa usiwalipe mwisho wa mwezi patia hawa pesa kila jumamosi di wapange mambo yao Hivyo mimi moha amesema vizuri sana. Mimi nilisema pale kiricho. Na hii watu ya simio wananipigia kelele. Na mimi mnajua ni mtu ya kuongea ukweli, si ndio? Mnatakaka niongee ukweli ama udaganyifu? Ukweli. Moha umesema mzuri. Mlitoka 
6% mpaka 44%. Na wewe unaongoza unaongoza watu ya Mombasa vizuri. Nyinyi muinvest kwa uongozi wa William Ruto hapa mbele. Ndio mkuu ndani pale. Unajua wengine wanasema walikuwa wanapiga kelele pale Jivanjiji Gardens. Oh, hatutabui urais. Alafu wanasema huyu rais ameweka watu yake. Sasa kama umutambui utamwambiaje ataweka nani? Sasa niulize wale walikuwa nampigia huyu rais kelele na kusema hatoshi na hawezi. Anawaweza kuweka kwa serikali yake wamsaidie? Si watamwangusha? Lazima rais ataweka wale ambaye wanamtambua, wanaelewa mpango wake wa bottom up, walikuwa wanasema anaweza, walikuwa wanasema natosha, walikuwa wanasema ako na maono na ako na mpango. Akiweka wale walikuwa wanapiga kelele na kusema hawezi, hao watakuja huko kukoroga ndani kumwangusha. Si iko namna hiyo? Na ndio tunasema hata huyu mzee ya maandamano, hakuna shida. Si maandamano ni kuadamana alafu wanaenda nyumbani jioni. Iko kitu nabadilika. Aendelee kuadamana kuadamana lakini maandamano natia hii msea sana kubwa sana. We mheshimiwa Mboko na kutuma kwa hii msee. Muambie hii maneno. Yeye amekuwa na kazi kubwa ya African Union Infrastructure. Amewacha hiyo kazi, ameenda maandamano, amefukuzwa kwa hiyo kazi. Si hii maandamano yanamtia hasara? Hii maandamano amefanya zaidi ya miaka 20. Kila mwaka anapata hasara. Sasa alikuwa na kiti ya Afrika. Ndio ameambiwa hii mzee apatikane kazini, ako maandamano, ako kupiga kelele. Hata hiyo watu ya Afrika ni Union si wamefanya vile natakikana. Kwa sababu kama wewe bwana iko kazini, si watatafuta mtu mwingine. Kwa hivyo sisi nasema hawa watu ya maandamano hapana usia huyu rais wetu uoga. Unajua wale walikuwa na usiwa uoga ni wale watoto ya sera. Huyo ni chuma ya zamani. Si ni chuma ya zamani. Wasiusie rais wetu uoga. Walikuwa kwa debe akawaweka chini. Walikuwa na system, walikuwa na deep state, walikuwa na machief akawaweka chini. Sasa hawana chochote, watawezana na huyu rais. Kwa hivyo hawa waachie rais nafasi ategeneze mambo ya wakenya, awafanyie wakenya kazi. Na hawa wangoje wakati wao. Imebaki mwaka ine unusu. Kama wangali watakana nguvu tukutane pale. Lakini saa hii ni wakati ya kazi. Tumekubaliana wakati alikoni? Tumekubaliana? Ni maendeleo ama ni maandamano? Ni maendeleo ama ni maandamano? Ndio mnataka? Si mheshimiwa amesikia? Mheshimiwa Boko unataka kosoa sisi bila kwenda kwa maandamano. Umepewa na watu kosoe, si ndio? Kwa jia ya heshima. Sio lazima uende pale kupiga kelele na kukaa chini ya rami na kusema haki yetu. Sasa nani atakusikiza ukiwa chini ya rami? Jia kukosoa serikali ni unakuja pahali serikali iko unapewa nafasi kwa heshima bila umepewa. Kwa sababu wewe ni kiongozi, nyinyi mlimchagua? Na anaongea mzuri na Kiswahili yake ni safi sana. Lakini ni kwa kikao kama hiki hapana pale kwa maandamano. Hapo hiyo ni kelele unapiga alafu unaenda nyumbani. Kwa hivyo ni nafasi hii nauliza nyinyi msimame kwa heshima tumkaribishe Rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, Rais William Ruto. Kwa makofi. Aya. <coughs> Asanteni sana. Tafadhali tunaweza kuketi chini. Thank you. Uh, mheshimiwa naibu wa rais waheshimiwa mawaziri governor na governor wetu wa jimbo la Kwale viongozi makatibu waheshimiwa wabunge 
wakiongozwa na mbunge wetu wa hapa Likoni waheshimiwa MCS wa kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali. ndugu viongozi wote rafiki yetu ambaye leo tumekuja katika sherehe hii kwa heshima yake mheshimiwa Rostam Aziz na kampuni ya Taifa Gas kutoka nchi yetu jirani ndugu wananchi wa Mombasa na kwale hamjambo Wassalamu alaikum Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwanza mimi nachukua nafasi hii kwa heshima kubwa kuwashukuru wananchi wa hapa kwa sababu ya ushirika na urafiki na undugu wenu kwetu sisi mlio tupatia nafasi ya uongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya katika kaunti zetu zote na sehemu ya wakilishi bunge na kaunti kwa niaba ya hawa viongozi wote waliochaguliwa mimi nawaambia ndugu wa Kenya watu wa hapa Likoni na Mombasa na kwale asanteni sana kwa nafasi hiyo na sisi tutatimiza sehemu yetu kuwafanyia kazi nataka vile vile muelewe ya kwamba hakuna kiongozi anachaguliwa kwa bahati mbaya ama kwa makosa viongozi wote wanachaguliwa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu kupitia kura za wananchi na kwa sababu nafasi hiyo ya uchaguzi umekuja tukafanya hiyo kazi viongozi wakachaguliwa katika vyama tofauti tofauti mimi nataka niwahakikishie kama rais nitaungana na viongozi wote wale ambao wamechaguliwa tuweze kutimiza malengo ya taifa letu ya kukuza uchumi kupambana na umaskini kuhakikisha kwamba kuna chakula na kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wetu wanapata nafasi ya ajira ili tuondoe umaskini na tuhakikisha kwamba taifa letu linaenda mahali ambapo sote tutajibunia kuwa wananchi wa taifa la Kenya Nataka niwashukuru viongozi wote ambao wameungana na sisi wakati huu Mimi nataka niwahakikishia kwamba we will work together as leaders elected by the people of Kenya so that we can shape the future and the destiny of our, of our nation let me also congratulate my brother rostam aziz i know you are a very resilient investor i know the struggles you have gone through to get to this day this investment should have happened about five years ago but because of bureaucracy and negative politics this investment has delayed but i want to congratulate you my brother for not giving up for insisting for being persistent and i want now to tell you that the government of kenya is going to work with your company we are going to facilitate your investment because it is the right thing to do for us as Kenyans for the relationship between Kenya and Tanzania and for our East African community as we head to the Africa continental free trade area iwekezaji ambao utaweka hapa it is the same thing Kenyan government uh, Kenya companies are doing I came about four months ago from Ethiopia where our Kenyan company Safaricom is investing close to 200 million dollars in Ethiopia. It is commendable that you coming from our neighboring brother country Tanzania you're going to make this 
huge investment in our country. You're welcome. Other investors are welcome from Tanzania and from our region as we welcome all investors from the rest of the globe. Without a doubt, the launch of Taiva Gas Project is a historic milestone on our journey to achieving self-sufficiency in clean, green energy, which is, critical, which is a critical component of our commitment to deliver rapid socioeconomic transformation through clean, green growth. Our electric power grid is 92% green, and we are committed to turning it into 100% green by 2030. It is our intention to ensure that Kenyan households also embrace clean, modern cooking in order to complete our green growth agenda, protect the health and well-being of Kenyans, and conserve our forests. It is a fact that many Kenyan families bear the burden of respirat respiratory allergies and complications on account of indoor pollution and persistent exposure to wood smoke. Cleaner cooking energy is therefore a welcome preventive healthcare intervention. As we have been told, 70% of Kenyan households still use wood fuel. Asilimia sabini ya familia zote za Kenya wanatumia kuni kupika ama katika mambo ya mapishi manyumbani. Na sababu hiyo watu wengi wanapata ugonjwa, wengine wanapata madhara ya tofauti ya kiafya kwa sababu ya kutumia kuni na mambo mengine kupikia kule nyumbani. Na ndio tunasema mradi huu ambao ndugu yetu kiongozi wa taifa gas kutoka nje yetu jirani wamekuja hapa kuwegeza itatusaidia kama wa, wa Kenya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunapata gas na mapishi yetu yatakuwa yenye kwenye maz, mazingara ama mazingira yenye afya na mazingira ambayo aileti madhara kwa kina mama hasa wale wanatusaidia katika mapishi manyumbani kwa hivyo bwana rostam and your team your, we welcome this this investment as the government of Kenya, we are going to support the infrastructure you are going to put up here, and we are going to create a mechanism where the government of Kenya can support the distribution of gas to our households so that we can alleviate the serious challenges of health and pollution in our homes, especially on our mothers and the people who support our families. Beside that, clean cooking significantly cuts down our greenhouse gas emissions, minimizing Kenya's carbon footprint and bolstering our contribution to the mitigation of climate change, whose adverse effects continue to punish us quietly and disproportionately which has traditionally led to decimation of the national tree cover as well as illegal felling of trees on a massive scale. Liquid petroleum gas is an important transition alternative, representing a major step towards clean domestic energy consumption. It is therefore beneficial to promote it as a cleaner, safer, healthier, and significantly more environmentally compatible alternative to wood fuel, whose rampant use leads to multiple adverse impacts. The journey to affordable clean green cooking gas 
using LPG kicks off in earnest from this investment. I have also approved, good uh, friend, that instead of uh, 30,000 metric ton uh, storage facility, I have agreed that he makes it 45,000 metric ton facility so that we can increase storage of gas as we enhance our gas use in the country. I've also instructed the Minister for Energy to make sure that Kenya Pipeline Company invests in another 45 ton storage facility of gas so that we can transition in a faster, safer trajectory into cooking gas in our country to minimize health issues, to save our forests, and to minimize our carbon footprint as we go towards green energy by 2030. So, Bwana Waziri, tayari nimeongea na watu wa Kenya Pipeline, pitia uongozi wako, pale katika KPRL, maa kuna ardhi ya serikali, watu wa Kenya Pipeline watajenga another equal facility ili tuwaze kupambana na mambo na madhara na magonjwa ya nayoletua na kina mama wetu na wale wote wanatusaidia kupika kutokana na mambo ya kuni na mambo ya mutushi na mambo ya ale mengine mbae ya natusumbua. It is therefore encouraging to note tremendous growth in the consumption of LGN households per capita use has increased from, from 2 kilograms in 2012 to 6.6 kilograms in 2020 and 7.5 kilograms in 2021. This growth has been driven by incentives tailored to promote penetration and use at household level. Although household use in Kenya is greater than African average of 3 kilograms by capita, it falls below global practice of between 15 and 30 kilograms per capita. The government is committed to drive per capita consumption of LPG at the household level to 13 kilograms by 2030. And to do this, we will continue to implement incentives that promote its consumption by a broader spectrum of users. Let me say this as we uh, consummate this uh, investment that Rostam had wanted to invest in this program about five years ago. Because of the challenges he has mentioned to us, that investment, we cannot continue to compete for investors from Asia, from Europe, from uh, America, when we have investors next door. <laughs> investors must not necessarily be from Europe, America, or Asia. Investors can be Kenyans, Tanzanians, Ugandans, Africans, and that is the trajectory of the new leadership in our continent. I agree with you that our two countries, when I met my sister, the president of Tanzania, we agreed that we are going to eliminate all mistrust, all barriers, and all roadblocks to investment between our countries and between East Africa. I want to promise you, please take my message to my elder sister, the president of Tanzania, that Kenya is open for business. Please inform her that I appreciate every time place of gas is the development of a common user 
terminal for LPG at Mombasa. We shall also implement the open tender system in the importation of LPG to achieve competitive and efficient pricing of product, including other mix and match interventions that will ensure that the end user, the consumer, gets the most competitive price. Most critically, the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, which institute, will institute a robust mechanism to ensure that the price efficiency mechanism benefits of common user terminal and open tender system are directly passed on to the consumer. All public institutions that currently utilize biomass as their primary cooking fuel will be required to transition to LPG. In particular, public institutions must ensure that this transition is completed by 2025. Yale maidara yote ya serikali pamoja na shule zetu kufikia mwaka wa 2025 tutakuwa tumewasaidia kama serikali badala ya kutumia kuni kwa upishi watakuwa wanatumia gas and we are going to make sure that all our institutions of higher learning all our boarding schools all our institutions transit from using wood fuel that is decimating our forests into using gas that is cleaner, that is healthier, and that is much more environmentally um, uh, useful. So, tutaendelea namna hiyo. Mimi nimesema hivyo na nashukuru waziri wa elimu yuko hapa. Waziri, tutashikiana sasa na wewe na ndugu yako wa waziri wa kawi muhakikishe mashule zetu zote by 2025 hawatakuwa wanatumia kuni tena na kukata miti watakuwa wanatumia gas ili tuweze kuweka katika hali ambapo kuna afya na pia tunazingatia ulinzi wa mazingira yetu As Kenya pursues clean and green growth at the national level, it is important for us to match this commitment to the mitigation of climate change by embracing clean domestic energy alternatives. It is time for this country at all levels, from the macro to the micro, to get aboard the agenda for environmental consciousness and ecologically sustainable practices. All our practices and lifestyles must therefore begin to adjust in order to reflect coherently our commitment set out in the Constitution mandate preamble to be respectful of the environment, which is our heritage, and sustain it for the benefit of future generations. The philosophy of green, clean growth recognizes the spectrum of rewarding investment opportunities in the programs and projects that constitute and contribute to ecologically sustainable socioeconomic transformation like what Taifa Gas is doing. Through various incentives, the government therefore encourages highly innovative and forward-looking local investment in this immensely promising space and welcomes international to all participate vigorously in these opportunities. Our investment promotion framework has packaged attractive incentives to encourage diverse players in the clean growth sectors from high value strategic investment to micro, small and medium sized enterprises along every value chain. And this is exactly what uh, Moses, as, as we have discussed, that this Dongokundu economic zone and all the other economic zones across Kenya will provide opportunities for investments at all levels, at the micro, the small, at the medium, and the large jobs and create additional opportunities. 
nikimalizia nataka niwashukuru ninyi wote nimesikia yale dada yangu Mishi Mboko amesema kuhusu wananchi wa hapa tutashughulika na mambo ya project affected persons wale wote ambao kwa njia moja ama nyingine mambo ita, itabidi wa hame waende mahali pengine nishamwambia waziri wangu na wale wote ambao wanahusika ya kwamba hawa ni wananchi wa la Kenya na inafaa wa shughulikiwe kwa taratibu na kwa njia inayofaa yale mambo yote ambayo yamesemekana hapa kama mtu ako na bibi moja bibi wawili bora asiwe mpango wa kando sote tutashughulikia haya mambo ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba mambo haya yote yanaenda sambamba na tuhakikishe ya kwamba kila mwananchi anapata haki yake huyu eh, mishi ajaniambia kama hata mpango wa kando atakuwa kwa hiyo shughuli <laughs> So tutashirikiana pamoja na ndugu yangu Moses Kuria. Wewe wacha huyo jamaa aketi chini. Eh wewe aketi chini hapo ngoje aketi chini. Eh aketi chini hapo amebeba mtoto kwa mgongo aketi. Taniona baadaye wewe. Aya, <coughs> aketi tu chini hapo. Ukiona mwanaume amebebeshwa mtoto mgongoni ako na shida kweli so wangoje <laughs> Matatizo yake si ma, si madogo So wangoje hapo So um bile bile na kuza ajira Pia tunataka na rosta mwenyewe hapa ameniahikishia ya kwamba wale watakaofanya kazi sehemu hii sio watu wa kutoka sehemu nyingine ni watu wa likoni watu wa Mombasa na watu wa Pwani na wa Kenya wengine ambao watakuwa karibu na hapa so you have no doubt that we will ensure that the people who will benefit from job opportunities created by this investment will be people from Likoni and Mombasa and the coast in a manner that everybody is going to be enjoined. So that I want to commit to you. Nilisema wakati tulikutana kuhusu mambo ya hapa Dongokundu ya kwamba tumeongea mambo ya Dongokundu karibu miaka 15 na imefika sasa wakati wa kuacha manawili ambao wako tayari tuko na waegezaji wengine ambao watakuja baadaye tukifanya ile international advertisement ya investment ya hapa na nimeambia watu wa Jaika ile mpango ya kwamba hapa Dongokundu itakuwa tayari 2027 sio hivyo tunataka hii Dongokundu iwe tayari sasa na tutakuwa tunaweka waegezaji hata wakati tunajenga ile infrastructure ambayo inahitajika katika sehemu hii so we are going to be chewing gum as we scale the stairs because it is possible tutakuwa tunaendelea na mambo itakuwa hivyo mimi nataka pia niwahakikishie kwa sababu hapa tutakuwa na mahitaji ya maji governor amesema yale county watafanya mimi vile vile nataka niwahakikishie long term. Nitarudi hapa mwezi ujao kuanzisha rasmi mradi wa mwache dam ambaye italeta maji hapa. Mimi tena nitarudi hapa mwezi wa sita ama mwezi wa saba kuanzisha ile mzima tu ambaye italeta maji hapa, itapeleka maji kilifi, italeta maji kwale hiyo mradi ambayo ilikuwa imekwama karibu miaka sita, sasa tumeikwamua tunakamilisha na yule ambaye atapewa hiyo kandarasi and in the next 90 days we will have 
an investor in place and a contractor in place so that we can deliver water to Kwale, to Taita Taveta, to Mombasa, and to Kilifi. Kiyo mpanga in Tarudi hapa, kuitimiza. Barabara ambayo tulianzisha, ambayo inakuja hapa, inaenda paka kibundani. Iyo barabara vile vile, munaona vile inatembea, sasa tutaiweka kasi. Because we want the completion of that road, including the bridge, so that we can ease the movement around this place. Pia, I want to commit, nilikuwa hapa juzi, katika ile barabara ambayo inatoka eh, kule kilifi, ambaye itaungana na barabara hii itaenda mpaka iungane na ndugu zetu wa Tanzania ya kwamba we are going to do all that road kutoka hapa Peri mpaka mpaka yetu na Tanzania na usikika na mambo ya kawi mumesikia ya kwamba asilimia sabini ya wakenya bado wanatumia kuni na mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba hawa wakenya Wengi wao ni kina mama wanaotumia kuni kutupikia chakula. Na kwa sababu ya kutumia kuni, kina mama wetu wengi wako na magoni. Ndani ya miaka mitatu ijayo, kila nyumba katika taifa letu la Kenya itakuwa na mtungi wa gas na tutahakikisha ya kwamba bei ya gas itapungua kwa sababu tutaondoa pia ile kodi yote ambayo imewekwa kwa mambo ya gas so that we can make sure that every household in the Republic of Kenya have access to gas for cooking and we can eliminate the use of wood fuel, eliminate the challenges of health, and also restore our environment by reducing the number of trees that are being cut for purposes of wood fuel. So you come at my one. So Waziri, you have the matching orders, and you know what you must do so that in three years, every household in Kenya has a subsidized, a subsidized uh, 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 cooking gas both in terms of cost of the cylinder we want to see whether we can give the cylinder for free or we can charge a minimal fee I also want the ministry to make sure that we eliminate all illegal filling of gas in the country because it is dangerous wale wakora wote ambao wanatumia mitungi ambayo zio sio kuweka gas hawa watu wajipange kwa sababu hatuwezi kukubali mtu aatarishe maisha ya wananchi kwa kwenda kufill gas mtungi ambayo sio yake na anatumia mbinu ambazo sio halali so we must get rid of all illegal sellers of gas we must make sure that we eliminate all illegal filling stations and i am saying this so that the minister for internal security for national government should work with the minister of energy and our police so that we eliminate so that we can promote this uh, program of making sure that we deliver gas to every household in the Republic of Kenya. Tumekubaliana ndio kupika chakula iwe rahisi. That's what we are going to do. Mimi nataka niseme kwamba this was one of our programs in 2018. Unfortunately, we could not deliver because of the shenanigans around our governance. But I am happy that today we have again started uh, this program and we will be implementing it in the next uh, three years. Mwisho kabisa, nataka ni washikuru viongozi wote. Nimeona hapa rigiji ni kama wanaongea lugamoja na mishimboku. 
Brigiji anasema wale ambao walitupigia kura watangulie. Mishi anasema wale walikoni watangulie. Sasa sijui mlikutana wapi mkasema hii maneno pamoja. <laughs> so, lakini tunakubaliana wale walikoni hata wakitangulia wale wa Mombasa watafuata na wale wa kwale pia watakuweko. Si namna hiyo? So tuendelee namna hiyo, tushirikiane namna hiyo, tukienda mbele kama sote tukiwa taifa moja, taifa la Kenya. Mimi nataka nimalizie kwa kuambia hivi, ndugu wa Kenya. Sote tumekubaliana mambo ya uchaguzi iko nyuma yetu. Nafasi tulioko nayo sasa. Na ndio kazi nimekuwa nikifanya kwa miezi tano zilizopita ni kudhibiti hali ya uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya. My first assignment the last four year four, four, four five months subsidies. That is why today the economy of, of Kenya has stabilized and I want to assure all our citizens that we will not go back to reckless borrowing. We will not go back to subsidies that benefit brokers, cartels, and people who are politically correct. We will not go back there. We are going to promote instead production. And that is why four million, four and a half million farmers today are accessing fertilizer that we have subsidized as government so that we can support our production and eliminate the challenges of high cost of living. We are on that trajectory. There is no need for others to threaten others with demonstrations. You had five years of the handshake shenanigans, and that is the reason why the cost of living is where it is today. I have stabilized the economy. I am now dealing with the cost of living and we are not dealing with it on a short-term basis. We are dealing with it in a sustainable manner. And the fellows on the other side are not going to give us any lectures or any lessons because they have none to give. If they had any ideas, they had five years to implement and they did not. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie hii safari tutatembea pamoja tutaheshimu kila mtu tutaheshimu eh, haki ya kila mtu kufanya ile anataka kufanya na mimi nakubali yale deputy president amesema sote tumechaguliwa mishi amesimama hapa amesema mambo ya watu walikoni anataka hii anataka hii na tumesikiza na tutakubaliana vile tutatekeleza lakini tukienda korogana kwa maandamano hata mambo ya wananchi itapotea hapa katikati kama huyu mishi sasa angekuwa maandamano hata aseme ile amesema huko maandamano nani atasikia si ndio so tunataka tupange hii kazi pamoja tushirikiane tuende mbele pamoja na watu wawache mambo ya kutisha watu wengine you know i, I want to tell our friends it is the height of impunity it is actually the slave master mentality for anybody to imagine that leaders need their permission to work for the people who elected them. Every leader who has been elected has been elected by the people of Kenya and they have assignments, they have constitutional responsibilities to discharge. I want to tell all leaders in Kenya, we do not need any permission from no character to be able to serve the people that elected us. We need to figure out how we are going to work together, serve the people of Kenya, elections come and go, but the people of Kenya remain, and our issues must be consistent. We have been elected to think about the people of Kenya. Tunaelewana jameni? Tuko pamoja? So, tafadhali wale wanafikiria ya kwamba Kenya ni yao, na wale ambao wanafikiria ya kwamba ati wanafuga wa Kenya ati wa Kenya wanahitaji ruhusa yao washughulike 
na mahitaji yao. Sisi tunataka kuambia Kenya ni nchi huru. Sisi wote tumechaguliwa, kazi imekwisha, tunasonga mbele. Mimi nataka pia niwaeleze. Nasikia bado wanasema sijui saba. Sijui saba. Saba gani? Saba ilikuwa wazi wakati tulienda kwa polling station. Saba ilikuwa wazi wakati kila mkenya alitambuliwa na ile biometric. Saba ilikuwa wazi wakati kila mkenya alipatiwa kura apige kura. Ilikuwa wazi wakati IBC ilituma ile matokeo kwa ile mtandao. Ilikuwa wazi wakati tulikuwa kule Bomas of Kenya kura zikihesabiwa. Ilikuwa wazi wakati yule alishinda alitangazwa. Ikawa wazi wakati tulienda kotini, kotini ikaamua. Sasa hii saba mnatuambia tufungue ni gani? You know, si hawa watu wanatubeba wana, wana ufala. Waacheni kutubeba ufala marafiki zetu. Wajinga waliisha Kenya. Na Bob Marley aliwaambia, you can fool some people sometime. But you cannot fool all the people all the time. Wacheni zenu bwana. Siyo kama tunaelewana. Tumekubaliana. Eh? Siyo kama tunaelewana. Hii ni utapeli mkubwa sana. Ati ati sasa tuambiane watu wa Mombasa. Ati kuna mtu hapa ajui matokeo ya uchaguzi to participate in our agenda for radical transformation of Kenya. We welcome you. Congratulations for this investment. You have our support. The Taifa Gas LBG plant is now officially launched. God bless you. God bless Kenya. God bless Tanzania. God bless East Africa. Asante Nisani. Thank you, Your Excellency.